On October 11, 2012, Pope Emeritus Benedict XVI announced his Porta Fide writings by describing, Today there is a need for stronger ecclesial commitment to new evangelization in order to rediscover the joy of believing and the enthusiasm for communicating the faith. In rediscovering Jesus' love day by day, the missionary commitment of believers attains force and vigor that can never fade away. Faith grows when it is lived as an experience of love received and when it is communicated as an experience of grace and joy. In his year of faith proclamation, he urges all Catholics to renew their faith by rediscovering its roots and exercising the responsibility to evangelize these findings. To formally introduce myself, my name is Nick Laffin. I'm 30 years old and I've known and worked with the Franciscan community for the past two and a half years. I work as a financial biller for Franciscan Home Care and Hospice Care, as well as Franciscan Everett Care, here in Meriden, Connecticut. I've had the opportunity to travel to Italy in the fall of 2011 with two Franciscan Sisters of the Eucharist and 17 other pilgrims to the holy sites in Rome and Assisi and given a special opportunity to participate in a general audience with Pope Emeritus Benedict XVI. In this experience, I've come to know and understand the influence the Franciscan Sisters of the Eucharist have in Italy, as well as the United States. It's been a privilege to partake in a special journey discovering the history and sites of my faith, and as a young adult professional, wishing to share this experience with others. I offer my previous FSC pilgrimage experience to the table, as well as dire to replicate a faith-filled excursion for those who seek the interest. My name is Robin Lee, 33 years old, and I've known the sisters for the past year. I work as a writer, blogger, and editor for the nationally circulated Catholic Digest magazine, as well as the nationally recognized Catholic online dating website, catholicmatch.com. I also act as program director for a Catholic program called Theology on Tap, that brings together young men and women in downtown New Haven, Connecticut, to engage them in discussion about various faith topics that affect our generation. I myself have made several independent trips to Italy and one pilgrimage to the Holy Land in May 2013. I have found the experience to be awe-inspiring and meaningful. I represent the young pilgrimage experience professional who can offer my exposure for those who have traveled abroad frequently and look for a deeper meaning with each visit. Hi, my name is Rebecca Kenyon. I am 28 years old and I've known and related to the Franciscan community for the past five years. I work as a full-time physical therapist at Gaylord Hospital in Wallingford, Connecticut, and I help out with the sisters during their annual Christmas fair and attend the special masses and activities they hold here in Meriden, Connecticut. I also participate in the Young Adult Catechism Program offered by the FSC here in Meriden, along with Nick and Robin. I personally have never traveled to Italy, so I represent the pilgrim novice who desires to make my first trip with anxious anticipation for what cultural and faith expedition await. In the spirit of the year of faith, the three of us find great enthusiasm as young adults in exploring our faith with more intensity and finding ways to connect and share these feelings with fellow peers. On June 19, 2013, we propose to the Head Council of the Franciscan Sisters of the Eucharist, to Mother Sean Bergawan, Mother Rose Pender, and Mother Miriam Cyperman, an opportunity to recruit interest to any young adult professional between the ages of 23 and 45 who wishes to participate in a reflective pilgrimage to Italy that will be made in the fall of 2014. This trip would allow the young adults to relate to the Franciscan community to deepen their faith and fellowship, while others not familiar with the community to come together to meet other individuals of their generation who can share their faith and use the time to discern their own life and its course. Potential travel destinations include the cities of Rome, Vatican City, Assisi, Siena, and Florence, with a focus of viewing St. Peter's Basilica, Basilica of St. Francis of Assisi, Basilica of St. Clair of Assisi, the Roman Colosseum, the Vatican Gardens, Basilica of John Lateran, the Sistine Chapel, Basilica of St. Mary Major, the Duomo Cathedral, Basilica of St. Dominic, San Damiano Convent, Siena Cathedral, 
the works of art by Michelangelo, Leonardo da Vinci, Giotto Bonicelli, Donatello, Rembrandt, Caravaggio, and Raphael, amongst many other faith-oriented points of interest. In addition, there will be ample time to explore the cultural aspect of shopping, dining, and just roaming the ancient cobblestone paths. Italy has some of the finest art, architecture, and history the world has to offer, of which is situated throughout beautiful scenic landscapes and cityscapes all surrounded with an expansive Christian presence. There are two especially unique experiences to be shared on this pilgrimage. One is to participate in the festivities and services on the feast day of St. Francis of Assisi in Assisi, Italy, the weekend of October 3rd through the 5th, 2014, while the other is to share in a potential general audience with our Holy Father, Pope Francis. Matthew Kelly in his book, Rediscover Catholicism, describes the future of Catholicism, stating, there are a great many people who think the problem with the world today is that people don't come to church. They think the challenge is to bring people to church, but the real challenge is to bring the church to the people. It is our hope that through this cultural adventure, we will be able to encourage the young adults of our communities to take their place in leading future generations of youth in a morally astute path that recognizes practicing and evangelizing our Christian faith. Our focus for our pilgrimage will be that of a spiritual sponsorship program that will address the connection between our local community and the rest of the world. This will be accomplished twofold. Firstly, each pilgrim will designate a person or group of persons with whom they will carry spiritually on their journey and likewise receive prayers for safe travel. Pilgrims will publicly and privately provide contemplation and prayers of intentions at various holy sites for those loved ones back home. In their return, each pilgrim will in their own way reciprocate their spiritual and cultural experience to these sponsors. Secondly, our goal is to engage the various Franciscan sisters of the Eucharist centers around the country to provide prayer of intentions for the travelers, but also importantly, reach out to the centers seeking other young men and women who relate to the Franciscan community and who may also be interested in participating in this pilgrimage. It will provide a tangible way to bridge the gap amongst the centers and help support and share in the same universal mission of St. Francis of Assisi, our Holy Father, Pope Francis, and the Church. Mother Sean, the Franciscan Sisters of the Eucharist, and the three of us strongly encourage everyone to consider yourself or other people in your lives who range from the age of 23 to 45, who may be at a crossroads point in their lives, who would be interested in partaking in this faith-based pilgrimage. Very few opportunities arise for people to join such a pilgrimage with the type of close connections to Rome and Assisi that we have thanks to the FSC presence in Italy. Such ties offer our group the ability to participate in special viewings and remote access that otherwise would not be granted to the general public. The sisters' knowledge and presence in these Italian cities can put many pilgrims at ease knowing the logistics such as direction, language skills, historical accuracy, hotels, and restaurants will be handled with confidence and efficiency. It is our hope and goal that through this pilgrimage, we can recruit and unite the FSC centers around the country, allowing us to build a stronger future for the Franciscan presence. As for those unfamiliar with the Franciscan community, consider becoming acquainted with the Franciscan Sisters of the Eucharist by allowing yourself to participate in this unique experience. There are limited spots available, so we encourage you to get involved. Just to reiterate Matthew Kelly's quote, the challenge is not to bring people to the church, but rather bring the church to the people. Let us be the vessels of this practice. Please feel free to contact us at your convenience via our email address, italypilgrimage at gmail.com, regarding any questions or concerns you may have. Also check us out on Facebook and YouTube with the keyword Italy Young Adult Pilgrimage 2014 for the latest updates on the planning phases of this trip. Thanks for listening, and we hope to see you in Italy.